Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ayu al-Ahbab As Muslims, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered us to affirm when people bring us news or reports or information, especially regarding others. And what we have to begin to look at as a community, especially Ahl Sunnah, to not allow the sickness of spreading lies and tales about individuals to continue to be a disease spread throughout our community that we have to begin to address these issues. And what we observe from time to time, we see people who claim, or perhaps they are students of great mashaykh. And at the head of one of the great mashaykh that specializes in the science of criticizing individuals, especially those individuals who have mukhalifat and ahl bid'ah, is Sheikh Rabi bin Hadi al-Madkhali, hafadhullahu ta'ala. And what we observe is we see people who have studied with them, studied with the Sheikh, and studied with other than the Sheikh, with many of, of, of great mashayikh of this time. But what they practice goes against the asloob of the Sheikh. And what I want to point out, ayol ahbab, is when we look at, I know many individuals who have visit, who visit the Sheikh and who may have studied something with the Sheikh or perhaps be considered students of the Sheikh. But you see, when they refute and when they criticize Ahl Bidah and they criticize Ahl Sunnah, they don't use the same principles the Sheikh does. Because as we have heard from countless times, the Sheikh has mentioned it in his own books. And we've heard it from other mashayikh when people try to criticize the sheikh. May Allah preserve all the mashayikh of Ahl Sunnah. We see that the sheikh was not hasty in making his judgments. The sheikh was not hasty in making his judgments. Bi'idnillah. That's between him and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But what we observe is the sheikh has said on countless occasions, I gave so-and-so advice for so many so years, so and such and such years. Seven years I uh, advised so sheikh so-and-so. Or I observed this from Sheikh so and so, and so I wrote him letters and I advised him and I called him on the telephone. This is what we observe from the Sheikh. What we observe from some of the brothers, may Allah guide us in them and forgive us in them, is that they send one email and they expect, expect you to change your whole position on something with no patience. Or they say, I advised him, I, I ran into him somewhere and I told him. And that was sufficient. He didn't change his position. Khalas, he's from Ahl Bidah. Warn against him. Don't sit with him. Don't eat with him. If we see you with him, you're from Ahl Bidah as well. This is what we see as a, a sloob from, from some of our brothers and sisters, which is a musibah and a trial. Why don't you go back to the books of Sheikh Abdul Masin al Abad who speaks about this? Why don't you go back to the books of Sheikh Ana, Sheikh Ibrahim al-Rahili who speaks about this? Why don't you go back to the books of Sheikh Rabi who speaks about this? Why don't you go to the book of Sheikh Muhammad uh, al-Imam who speaks about this? And all the mashayikh, the mashayikh in Yemen speak on this. The mashayikh in Saudi speak on this. Go back to those ulama, those mountains of knowledge. Why don't you look back at what Sheikh Salih bin Fuzan says? Or what uh, Bin Baz and Albani wa uh, bin Uthameen, wa Sheikh Mukbil, rahimahumullah jami'an, those great mountains of knowledge. If you don't like some of the mashayikh that I've already mentioned, go to the mountains. See if this was their asloob. Was their asloob it's at not giving any uh, advice? Was their asloob uh, not advising their brothers? Simply one uh one message and, and the person is expected to accept that. Even if the person doesn't believe that that evidence is sahih. Or you may not even be well grounded in knowledge for you in, in and of yourself to be able to give this advice. So this is what I'm warning you against, brothers and sisters. Uh, carrying this fitna greater than it is. Because we see how much fitna. And fitna between Ahl Sunnah going out of control. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us and forgive us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says... في كتاب الكريم يا أيها الذين آمنوا إن جاءكم فاسق بنبأ فتبينوا أن تصيبوا قوم بجهالة 
فَتُسْبِحُوا عَلَى مَا فَعَلْتُمْ نَادِمِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِيمِ O you who believe, if a fasik, meaning a liar or an evil person, comes to you with any news, verify it, lest you should harm people in ignorance. And afterwards, you become regretful for what you have done. You will become regretful for what you have done. And there's no doubt, ayyul ahbab, that when people spread fitna and they speak about du'at or students of knowledge or ulama, which is even greater than that, from ahlu sunnah, that they're going to pay for it, either in this life and in the hereafter or in this life or in the hereafter. And ayyul ahbab, this is something we don't want and we don't need. So as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered us to, to verify, nam, the ayat was in reference to uh, if, if a facet comes. But it still requires for us to make, to clarify something. And do you feel comfortable just because your friend that you believe is from Ahl Sunnah heard something from someone, heard something from someone who, cared, who took it from Sheikh so-and-so or what have you, and the news has come through a chain of narrators who usually are majhul that aren't even known to others, but they're known, they're your buddies. And then you're going to spread that? Do you feel comfortable before your Lord? If your answer is yes, then continue doing what you do. And if your answer is it even touches your heart at all, to be fearful in the battle of ism, that you're, you're fearful of the sin, and you're fearful of spreading uh, suspicion and lies, then ayol ahbab, we need to go back and follow the uslub and the saluk of our ulama. And first and foremost, going back to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the understanding of the salaf of this ummah. And anything I said that was correct was from Allah. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.